with the induction of Grillions, Aztecs, small mechanical advantage devices, a lot of people don't rig a split four to one anymore. We've mentioned it in our awareness and operations series up to this point, so we will show it and demonstrate it in this class. If you don't have access to a Grillion or have access to small mechanical advantage systems like an Aztec or a set of fours, this is still a really easy go-to. First thing we're going to do is we're going to dead end the rope in the system. We're then going to grab swivel pulleys work the best. And this is going to go down to one of either the head or the feet, and we'll discuss that in a minute, of our package. We then want to grab a pulley that has a capture on it. We're using protractions. You can use a regular pulley that has a prusik, whatever it is you have in your inventory. What we've created is basically a two to one with a capture device. Now, because this is the terminated end, this piece is going to go to the feet of our patient. We then go down, we take another pulley, clip it in. This would go to the head of the packaging device into another capture device. So we've created a four to one mechanical advantage with single pulleys. And it allows us to split this as the need arises once we get our patient closer to the top of the space. We'll do a live demo of that, but why would we use this? We use this if we don't have a lot of overhead height. So if we're on top, for instance, breweries have a lot of uh, vats and silos in them where they're pushing two to three feet to the top of the, sp the uh, space, so you're almost at the roof line when you're going into these spaces. And in those types of cases, you need something that enables you to get a full-size body out of the hole but does so in pieces. So with this here, we'll move over and do a live demonstration and see this in action. So we've now taken our split four to one and we've rigged it up top in order to show you how this is going to look. We talked over on the initial rigging about bringing the first one down to the feet. In this case, we've hooked the handles of the sked. We've changed out the carabiner so that we have the black one at the bottom and we've gone red for head just so that the rescuer that's in the space understands which one he needs to hook up. Although you're just seeing a skills scenario, of course in a real world life rescue, you're going to have a rescuer down here on a line and you're going to be lowering him these pieces or her these pieces and they're going to need to hook them up appropriately. So identifying the carabiners is an easy way to do that. Then we've got the first pulley that's going to be removed at the head. Much like we showed on the other tripod, this one will come off first as we raise the patient up. We have the patient attached to a safety line. We have the patient jained or tethered or lanyarded into that safety line directly. And we like to keep our patients in at least a class two harness. This is a ladderman belt, easy to put on a patient in a hole so that the patient has their own independent safety with the main line being the rigging of the packaging device and their safety being their harness directly into the safety line. At this moment now, we'll see as this moves up and as this sked moves into a vertical orientation. Hall. As they move this up, the rescuer lifts the head, but you notice this naturally, because of the rigid backboard that's in there, goes into a vertical orientation. This allows the sked to move up through the hole vertically and keeps the pulleys separated on the actual system. So much like our demonstration down on the bottom of the platform, we have rigged here our split four to one. 
We have our terminated end into the top of our tear adapter. This is going down to a pulley at the feet. That would have been the black carabiner you saw in the previous um, filming of this. That's then coming up through a pulley with a capture device on it. Once again, we're using protractions. You can use a pulley with a pressic in here, whatever you have in order to satisfy that requirement. In this case, our protraction's locked. It goes back down, and this two to one is attached to the head. Comes back up through another capture pulley, in this case also a protraction, that is locked to our hauler. So once again, we have our four to one mechanical advantage system split into two separate pieces, both at the top and at the bottom, which allows us to take it out of the system as required. So we prefer to use an ASAP for our safety in a pitch head configuration in this case. We find if we run the ASAP on the package, it has a tendency of getting caught on the edge of the space. So in this case, we've run it more in a pitch head style. You could also run a tandem pressic belay or some other belay device up here. We've just decided for the simplicity of filming just to run with the ASAP. So at this point, we'll get our rescuers to start hauling the patient up. Prepare to haul. Prepare to haul. 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 As noted before, the package is moving into a vertical orientation. And stop there. So, with our split four to one, the whole idea of the split four to one is being able to split the four to one system. So we get to a system like, or a spot like this, where we cannot get the sked physically out of the hole. And we talked downstairs a little bit about different scenarios that that may occur. So in this case, what we have the ability to do now is to have, come around to that side, Tony. You wanna grab that handle? Steve, grab that handle here. So with the protractions locked off, we have the ability to leave the package for a minute. These two gentlemen are going to raise just slowly. It's just up a bit. Which allows me to take the top of the four to one out. We now have the feet on a two to one mechanical advantage system. The limiting factor now becomes hooking the toes on the edge of the space. So I can haul with this two to one until we can get to a point where we're out of the space. I can now bring it down and they can rest them on the edge of the space.